value for our tyrosine will be 5.5 and once again at that pH value the pH value 5.5 all these charges will exactly cancel out and so if we place our amino acid on this line here it will not move in this direction nor will it move in this direction now by the way what happens if I take this molecule and place it let's say somewhere here where at this location when it is to the right of the pi value this molecule will tend to want to move back in this direction and that's because anywhere in this region this molecule will have a net negative charge and so because this negative charge will cause it to move this way it will gravitate towards our pi value and likewise if we take this same tyrosine and place it within this region in this region it will Will have a net negative charge and so as a result of that electric field it will gravitate and move towards this pi line so if we place this here it will move this way if we place this here it will move in the other direction and the same thing is true for all these other cases for example glycine if we take glycine and place it here it will have a net positive charge so it will move this way until it reaches that point and if we take glycine and place it here it will move this way until it reaches that pi value of 5.5 now in the next lecture we're going to take a look at how to actually determine what the pi value is of proteins of polypeptides that consist of two or more amino acids